Hi, I am Minakshi from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will see what are the available file mass ingestion actions. The agenda of this video is to discuss about file mass ingestion actions and how to configure file mass ingestion task to compress and encrypt the file before transfer. There are certain set of file mass ingestion actions that can be performed during the runtime when files are transferred from source to target using a file mass ingestion task. The compress action is used to compress the files in zip, tar or jzip format. We can choose any of these methods and then it will flatten the file structure in the target directory. The decompress option is used to decompress the files using unzip, untar or gunzip method and then it will flatten the file structure in the target directory. The encrypt and decrypt options are used to encrypt the files using pretty good privacy method. And again, it will flatten the file structure into the target directory. The flatten file structure action is used to move the files from multiple folders to a single folder in the target directory. Please note that flattened file structure action can lead to file loss in the scenario when there are multiple folders and they contain files with same name. The virus scan method is used to identify viruses and malware in the files that the file ingestion job transfers by using the internet content adaptation protocol. So suppose that if there is a virus detected in the file then it will the mass ingestion task will fail and if there is no virus detected it will return a response code of 200. Now let's go to the demo section. So this is a file mass ingestion task and uh, once we have defined the task and the source and target then we can move to the actions tab. In the actions tab here we see that there is a plus icon. Using this we can add the action. This is under the file processing tab. So uh, suppose that we can select the compress action and then we have the in this drop down in the action type drop down we have the compress methods. So we can either use zip, gzip or tar method. So we can simply select it and uh, click on save then this action will be added. Now suppose that there is a use case where we have to first compress the file and then we have to encrypt the file. So uh, note that when we have to perform multiple actions then they have to be added in this file processing tab in the same order. So if we want to perform the compress option first, then we have to add compress action first and then the encrypt option. So here uh, I have already added compress action. Now we will just add the encrypt option here. Encrypt in PGP. Here we have to provide the key ID and file suffix and then we have to save this. Once this is saved, we can just click on next and uh, deploy the job and then run it. We would love to hear from you. Please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.